Hi, I'm Barb Malmeister. I'm a registered dietitian in Tampa, Florida. Many people ask me, well, what is the difference between the American Dietetic Association Food Pyramid, which is my pyramid, and the Mediterranean Food Pyramid, and the basics for that? Well, exercise is important. They're both on the bottom of both pyramids. At least 60 minutes, whether it's biking, walking, jogging, yoga, Pilates, 60 minutes of active exercise a day. And the next in the food pyramid is um, starches, but they're whole grain starches. They're good starches, limiting the white processed carbohydrate that we have in our food pyramid. Also, fruits and vegetables are unlimited. They should be eaten every day, not on a portion size of a half a cup or a whole cup. Any vegetable is good. Also, beans, beans every day, which is a dried beans, which are legumes whether they be black beans or pinto beans or lima beans. They're very good. They have excellent fiber intake and it moves your bowels and it lowers your cholesterol. Also, they eat yogurt every day, but it's not the processed yogurt we have here. It doesn't have artificial sugars in them, red dyes in them, and they're not flavored. Yogurt is plain. Yogurt should have one ingredient, ingredient in it, and that is milk. So have a portion of good organic yogurt if possible every day. Weekly should be eaten eggs, poultry, and fish. Rotate that throughout your week with your basis being beans and vegetables. Monthly is red meat and sweets. That should be ha you should have red meat and sweets once a month on a Mediterranean food pyramid. Obviously water is a good source six to eight glasses. I recommend a reverse osmosis system. And also they drink red wine in moderation. That is the basis for the, food, the Mediterranean food pyramid. For further information, please see my website at naturalchoicenutrition.com.